Hello Libra, Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be notified whenever I make a new video for you. We're working with the next world tarot this week. Oh, cards are giving me some trouble. All right, Libra, we are pulling out for our career, love life, and personal. Keep in mind, this may not resonate for every Libra placement out there, so definitely feel free to check out your other placements or your other Libra videos on my Libra playlist. Okay, but definitely keep in mind, these are all general readings. Um, you can book a personal with me. That will be much more tailored to your life specifically. All right, getting into career. Ooh, Libra, we have the five of swords coming out in our career. So I do feel like we're kind of doing what we need to do to survive right now. But, you know, I mean, this could be, oh yeah, all right. Clarifying with the Rider Waite Smith deck. Yeah, we're, we're doing what we have to do here on the career front to survive. However, I feel like we have a lot that we're holding back um, that we want to say about whatever is going on within our career. I feel like we have a lot of opinions and a lot of things to say, and I feel like we are holding those things down back in a sense here with the four of swords we're kind of we're trying to process it trying to make sense of it but I ultimately I do feel like this is I'm kind of getting the energy of like a ticking time bomb here like we're just gonna go off and we're gonna you know we're gonna speak our mind eventually it may be a little more wise to try to get our thoughts together and make a plan of how to do this because if we just explode, we might have a lot to say. Um, and I do feel like it is a tricky situation that we're navigating. This is a personal reading, okay? So definitely if it's not resonating, don't try to make it fit. Um, but if it is resonating for you, I do feel like this is, you know, this is a delicate situation and we have a lot to say, but, and I mean, it's important. It's important that we speak Speak what we need to speak but it's also important that we survive right <laughs> you know we we need if it's a job and we need to stay at this job then we need to be able to communicate in a really grounded way we can't be like bitchy about it okay so now moving into our love life all right the four of cups reevaluate so I do feel like we might be reevaluating whatever our current situation is within our love life okay mm. I feel like we're, it's going pretty good um, <laughs> truly and honestly I feel like right now within our love life we are having a really good time okay but with the Queen of Wands I do feel like we are very wise you know the queen of wands is someone who's been around the block a few times she's been burned and that's how she learned to be strong and confident in herself okay so i definitely feel like you know we're in this happy party three of cups mode in our love life you know just all cheers in and dancing and playing and having a wonderful time but we're the queen of wands, so we know there is something more than that, right? We know that there is more layers to what we're experiencing right now. And I feel like that has us kind of in a mind fuck, right? We're sitting here and we're like, damn, I don't know. But I feel like, honestly, Libra, enjoy where you're at right now. And definitely, you know, yes, do reflect on, you know how you got here and what is making you the most stable in your life because I do feel like there is a love going on right now and it's it's not necessarily 
you know, helping you to be stable. Um, and not that it needs to, right? But I'm just feeling like you're stable all on your own. But it's kind of, you know, I mean, the, with this energy, it's kind of a, it's a magical energy, but it's kind of a little bit dark, right? It's a little dark. We've, we've been through things in our life and, you know, we can't just like walk away from everything we've been through in our life and just have a happy, jolly time. There's, there's layers and levels and all of this. And we know this because we're the queens. So, I mean, the real advice here is just be the queen, be in control, in control of it all. Okay, but also at the same time, like being in control means that you're never in control, right? Um, like the best way to be in control is to realize that you have no control over anything but yourself and how you act and react. And I feel like we're a witch. We're really magical. We have the queen of wands coming out. So no matter what happens in our love life, just enjoy the moments that you're experiencing right now. No matter what happens, um, we're going to be able to handle it. We've handled a dark day before. We're, we're literally causing, I feel like, dark days for ourselves right now. That's kind of the energy I'm picking up. So, um, yeah, moving on. Moving on to personal. All right, Nine of Swords. Yes, ooh, baby. This is the moment that everyone asks us to ignore. Nobody wants to wants to deal with the fact that we are in despair, right? Okay, maybe that's not resonating for you, but with the Nine of Swords, we are reevaluating, okay, because it is a nine. And with the Nine of Swords, I feel like we're reevaluating and we're realizing that we've gotten the shitty end of the freaking deal. Yeah, we did. All right, we have the Seven of Swords coming out to clarify here. So I feel like this is sort of an energy where someone's really been sneaky and deceptive to us in the past or that we've literally had to be sneaky and deceptive in order to survive and I kind of feel like that's what I'm kind of feeling here is that we're feeling a lot of shame and just a, a lot of feelings we're really like beating ourselves up and you know I, I love the realness of this card because she's just like smoking her ciggies she got all these she's chain smoking right and that's what we do, whether it's like a physical manifestation of, of smoking or whatever. But when we want to hold in other people's secrets, when we want to hold in the things that happen to us and not really truly feel our despair, then we end up just holding ourselves so accountable for everything that we just keep thinking that we deserve the worst. Like we deserve lungs full of smoke and we deserve this nasty life but that's not what we deserve okay so let go of any shame if you have any shame about how you've acted in the past the cards are really here saying like you've always done what you needed to do to survive and so you don't have to like sit around and feel guilty about that but definitely do reevaluate it okay because you're in a much more higher elevation i feel like now in your mind to where if you look actually look back over your life if you actually take the time to look over the events that have unfolded in the past you will find that from your from the way your mind is now you'll be able to clearly see and like kind of knock it off with this shaming ourselves because you'll be able to clearly see that that shame comes from situations that were just impossible you know and sometimes we have to do what we have to sneak around or we have to lie or, or whatever this might be but we have to survive okay and we've done what we needed to do to survive so definitely you know I do feel like on a personal level we're really reevaluating where we're at currently in our life how we got here and with that a lot comes up and you know, take the time, take the time because we have the chariot coming up too. So I know that this is really important to you getting on the right path and it's not a freaking rush, right? You have all the time you need. The chariot is strong. It knows where it's going. It has a vision that cannot be taken away and you can't, 
you can't stand in the way of the chariot because they will always find a way. They're slow and steady. They're not trying to make it there the fastest, but they know where they're going and eventually they will get there. And this is heart centered. So you need your heart to be strong and healthy. So you have to take this time to really feel through everything you've been through in your life and, you know, show yourself grace and know that you are worthy of, of good care and love and to follow your heart. Okay. So let's get you an Oracle card. Oh, and I, can't forget to let you know that we do have the Ten of Pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. So that's a really lovely energy for you, Libra. I do feel like, you know, don't doubt yourself at all because you really, you're really actually doing a, a great job at life. You've always made the best out of every situation that you've been through. All right, and we have community. I love this card, Libra. Ooh, and we have love on the bottom of the deck. Okay, but let's read here for community. All right, ancient forest. The sacred landscape wants you to know support is all around you, even if you are not consciously aware of it. Allow yourself to be supported. Give encouragement to others. The more you allow yourself to be supported, the more your dreams can come true. If you believe that you have to do it alone, you will. Your true family is not just blood relationships. Sometimes the strongest family ties are friends who know who you are. Sometimes they are your ancestors and soul family who reside in spirit. This card speaks of finding your community and your people. It is a card of remembering that your people are at your side, believing in you, loving you, and standing strong beside you. Call on your community and ask for their assistance. They are only a thought away. All right, Libra, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. Um, like this video, comment, share it with a friend. These things really do mean the world to me. But most importantly, have a wonderful week. I love you. Take care.